The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Mankind A unique answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything. A non-fiction book by Kendra and Brooks. And a worldwide project. Consciousness What is consciousness? Biology can only explain, where consciousness arises, but not how it functions and what it actually is. Philosophy knows five models. And not one of them is proven. But, let us take a look at them. Physicalism assumes that everything is material and nothing is spirit. In physicalism, humans are machines like smartphones with a simple user interface, behind which complicated functions are hidden. But all works mechanical without software, like a traditional watch. Dualism believes in material and spirit, with an interface between the two. Immanuel Kant assumed that the pineal gland in our brain makes this connection. But he could not answer how and where the spirit of consciousness takes place. Pluralism expects, there are many different consciousness in nature that creates reality. Disadvantage of this model? Each philosopher creates his own allotment garden and cultivates his tiny plants to over full blossom. Panpsychism, on the other hand, recognizes consciousness everywhere. Not only in animals or in all other living things including algae, lichens, bacteria, and viruses, but also in all materials. This approach to consciousness simply processes everything and any information. If lightning strikes a tree and the forest catches fire, then the wood with its consciousness has simply processed the information enormous heat. Idealism, as the fifth model, thinks that everything we perceive and feel is basically not materially present at all, but is merely thought up by our consciousness. In idealism, we are all one computer program that merely simulates real life, similar to the film Matrix, but without the cocoons with people as the source of sensations and energy, but as pure spirit, without any material. Take your time to choose one of the five models and think a little about it, but also about the others. Philosophers do not offer us more than these five strategies for exploring consciousness. Note of Bainey without any answer, which of them is the correct one? The alleged science is here once again a pure question of faith. Like a religion it is based on attempts at explanation, without any probative value. Let us make our own attempt at explanation. Those who only perceive their environment and react to it, based on their biology or their instincts, do not possess consciousness. Only those who are able to think about their perceptions, weigh them up and then act, possess a consciousness. Consciousness is the ability to reflect and to think abstractly. Not only Homo sapiens, many animals have a consciousness. But it works completely different than ours. Because the instincts of animals are far more powerful, their consciousness only switches on when they learn something or call up what they have learned. Consciousness and fear. Fear in front of a direct threat, or an expected risk, was developed in nature long before mammals. But only consciousness made it possible to imagine dangers before they occurred. Consciousness is a survival strategy of nature. This video reflects only one of the 600 pages of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Mankind. Dive with us into the depth of mankind. And become part of our worldwide project. Thank you for your attention. And for your donations to our project.